this video, I'm going to be breaking down the nickel 3-3 Cub defense in Madden 25. If you guys want to get, this is in the Vikings playbook. If you want to get my entire Minnesota defensive ebook, that's going to be in the description down below, completely updated. And uh, real quick, 3-3 Cubs, one of those defenses that is just really good every year. There's multiple ways to run this defense, uh, which that is going to make it effective. I'm going to kind of hone in on a man-to-man -man version of this, but I will show a a zone coverage or match concept within this as well a couple things real quick is in your coach adjustments you don't really need to do anything with this you can just have it basically standard um, you can run this on baseline uh, but in general i like to just run it you know standard and then the big thing is in your packages here nickel three through cub you want to be in the cb inside package this is going to give you the best adjustments and it's going to allow you to move the linebackers if you want to now, I'm going to start out this by just showing you the basic blitz concept and really the theory behind 3-3 Cub. So the theory behind 3-3 Cub, if we pick this Mike Blitz Zero play, is it's a really, really good defense to play man coverage out of. Um, what I like to do to set the blitz up is I just simply pinch the linebackers and I'm going to bring my user right over the center and you want to be like almost directly over the center. And you can put your user on whatever coverage you want. One of the best strategies, in my opinion, is to simply just leave your user manned up on the running back. And then this allows you now to have a safety that you can kind of switch stick onto situationally. What you're going to see is if they send five out, this send five is always going to get you some form of pressure at the quarterback. You're going to consistently get this pressure uh, pretty much every time. So you're going to get this send five. If they send five out, you're pretty much always going to get this. Now, what's really cool about this defense is these are outside linebackers or middle linebackers over here. So what happens a lot of the time is if they block a running back against this look, you're going to get really good interior sheds in this defense, and you're also going to get uh, amazing sheds on that running back. As you see right there, that is very consistent. He instantly will shed the running back and get the pressure. So it's one of the most hidden gems of this defense, in my opinion. And if you want to press and back off and play play defense like this, uh, I like to press to get the safeties in the box. Uh, but in general, as you see, this Sim 5 is just really good. Now, a couple things with this. You can... Um, try to send four so if we wanted to send four in this defense what i like to do is we're going to play shaded down man coverage so we're going to man this linebacker up to the tight end we're going to shade underneath and then we're going to put two deep halves on the field so that we don't get bombed over the top this could be an outside third um, you could you could do a coverage like this if they're doing those auto motion plays this is a pretty good coverage uh, to roll into but situationally, normally they're going to be deep halves or deep quarters. And what you're going to see is sometimes this sent four, as you see right there, can come in, right? Sometimes the sent four can certainly come in in this game. A lot of it has to do with your hover, uh, in my opinion. And if you're sending, let's say you're sending four over here, you kind of want to be a little bit more over here. Pull that guard in just a step and you get that nice sent four rush. Now, as I said, this can, this defense um, can be ran on uh, out of zone so if you want to run out of zone the two plays that i would use is cover three buzz or cover four show two and you can also run this on base align so here we're going to run a base alignment version of this defense uh, just to kind of show you that it works and what you're going to see here is now we're sitting four off of the right so i like to press or show blitz still like to pinch the line uh, and pinch the linebackers and typically as you'll see here the send four comes in on the right side if they send five out uh, same basic thing is going to apply with the send five so if we want to really gas them up get some good pressure we can send five the big key with baseline is you really need to pinch these guys uh, because if you don't it's it's not really uh, a good look so anyway here's a send five as you see we get nice clean pressure and now they're going to have to block somebody now the thing with this blitz is if they do block somebody that's where I love to send four. Um, and specifically, I want to send four off of the running back side because the running back is always going to block this linebacker, and it's a big advantage to me. So you'll see right here, if I send four to the running back side, running back steps up, it's an instant shed, and boom, sack. So this is kind of how I like to run the 3-3 Cub defense. If you guys want to learn more about this defense and how you can utilize it in your own schemes, uh, my entire Minnesota Vikings defensive ebook is updated and you can get access to that by joining our school community the link is in the description down below